And there's LeBron James, who tonight will play his first game in a Laker uniform. They will face Dame Lillard and company in Portland for what will be an emotional season opener with yeah. the Trailblazers owner Paul Allen having just passed away. Luke Walton, meanwhile, the coach of the Lakers, was asked about what we should expect from LeBron as far as minutes. And his answer was really interesting. He said, we want to make sure we're not only playing at our best come the end of the season, but that he's fresh. That's a goal for us. And it's a goal that we're on a journey, and it's not a one-year journey. We're continuing to try and be our best season by season, and also as each season goes on. And obviously, he gives us the best opportunity to be at our best. So what is it you're hearing the coach say there about what we should expect in LeBron's minutes as the season goes on? Well, I, I think for LeBron and his personal goals, whether it could be trying to you know, catch Kareem, trying to win a championship in L.A., I think the Lakers' individual goal as an organization of trying to win championships, this is not the year for them to win a championship. So why would you play him 45 minutes a night just to cap out at the first round or second round? There's no need to do that. There's no need to. If you can keep him between... 32 and 35 minutes on most nights and then like look next year or, or the year after when you're chasing a championship if you have to up his minutes that's fine but you have to find a time to conserve him. An amazing stat that Hembo has on the screen he's played over 4,000 more minutes than anybody else. Here, here's the thing if you're the coach though how confident do you have to be in your job security to say we will sacrifice some wins along the way whatever the fans may think or otherwise in the interest of being ready to win a championship two or three years from now Luke doesn't necessarily know he's going to be the coach then that's true but you have to approach it that way that's what like Luke is a, an intelligent basketball mind he has a high basketball IQ and for him he's got to approach it that way because the last thing he can do is trying to coach him like he's trying to coach for his job and then ultimately you might keep your job next year but it is going to catch up to if LeBron is worn down because he is getting older he does have those miles if he's getting worn down in the second and third year because you, you played him too many minutes in a year when you know they will not win a championship this year unless some sort of you know magical trade happens to get Kawhi or somebody there they don't have a chance to win a championship so don't play the man 40 minutes a really tonight. interesting dynamic there yeah. again because I mean, history is filled with coaches who did not have job security of coached like crazy to try and win every single game like it's game seven. Of and the and ultimately those coaches ended up losing their job still. Right. So it's like if you're going to do it, you might as well do it your way. Do it like you're going to be there for three or four years. I think that's the best bet. Well, if history is any indication, LeBron has a good chance to make Laker history in his debut tonight. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has the record for most points in a player's first game with the Lakers. He has 27 LeBron has averaged 24 per game in his first game of a stint with a new team. So we'll I, see. I, I, you want to know something? Yeah. I guarantee you LeBron James knows that number. I guarantee you he knows that and number. And will he go for 28 100% he's going to go for, for, for 28. He's going to try. 